the Honorable Chairman, uh, distinguished uh, delegates from all over the world, invited guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tabel Davidson Ogbu. It is indeed a great honor and privilege for me to deliver this presentation at uh, the Needle Business Summit uh, in Germany 2013. This is the gathering of uh, reputable Nigerians and uh, people from all works of life. Before I go any further, I would like, on behalf of Nido Côte d'Ivoire, and on my own behalf and in my capacity as the Nigerian and Diaspora Youth President uh, Côte d'Ivoire, to congratulate you all, men and women, gathered here today for the holding of this 2003 Nido Business Summit here in Germany. You would agree with me that after 10 years of the existence of NIDO, it is time for us to take stocks of uh, the activities, of NIDO's activities in connection with youth issues and assess our successes and failures. This will help us to reposition the youth strategically under the NIDO agenda. So this presentation is entitled, Engaging Nigerian Youth, Opportunities and Challenges. That is to say, youth empowerment, the role of the diaspora. This subject examined the conceptual meaning of empowerment, the Nigerian environment and the challenges of youth empowerment programs, and it offers solutions for opportunities to most of the arising problems. Under this topic, we are going to look at the following, the challenges, the opportunities, then the possibilities, then of course we are going to also look at the recommendations that I'm pushing forward and the call for youth empowerment in Nigeria by all as sundry, including NIDO, the government, the private and the public sector, and the international, you know, modern national companies, every hands need to be on deck. The objective of this subject is to identify the challenges for facing young people today. Identify some key elements of change methods to help young people achieve the challenges. Then establish where our works at national level can help the political leaders and decision makers to empower young people nationwide. Introduce new ways to improve the youth empowerment at local level, at state level, and at national level, and of course, share some good practices on this issue. The challenges as follows. Lack of enabling environment, lack of infrastructure, and high rate of unemployment among the youths in Nigeria. Problems of youth poverty, lack of access to empowerment activities, both in the rural and the urban areas in Nigeria, lack of private investment in the nonprofit sector, and the access to loan and financial aid to start and to assist uh, businesses and small grassroots organization that empowers the youth. 
Government regulatory policies are oftentimes not favorable to small-scale businesses which empowers the youth. And of course, you have the problem of corruption in Nigeria. But the opportunities are bound, despite all the challenges, there are a lot of opportunities that we, all of us, can benefit from if we uh, engage and empower the youth in Nigeria. Nido need to strengthen the capacity of youths and their institutions. Nido need to improve young people's access, including the government. The government and Nido, which is the diaspora, need to improve young people's access to technology, knowledge, and information. Creation of quality training and employment opportunities and entrepreneurship development. The promotion of business, trade, and investment among the youth. The actualization of the Millennium Development Goal will go a long way to ameliorate the problems that the youths are facing in Nigeria. The broadening the possibility. My question now, are, have the institution and the community seeking to support and to serve youth in Nigeria had and address this message? To what extent are the requests for skill accusation and skill building and civil engagement opportunities being matched by investment in the programs and organization by government agencies, by government agencies? What will it take to enhance and increase youth empowerment in the nation? How will the funders, policy makers, and institutional leaders who control the nation's resources and decisions answer this call? What resources are needed to improve and expand youth empowerment program nationwide? My recommendation is as follows. Number one key factor to achieving success in youth empowerment is networking. Increased opportunities are needed for organizations involved in youth empowerment activities to connect with each other. These opportunities could include sub-regional, interstates, and or national or nationwide conveying, you know, peer training and site exchange. These will go a long way in helping and in boosting youth empowerment uh, programs in Nigeria, networking. Number two is technical assistance. You know, methods are needed to connect technical assistance providers with nonprofit organization and small organizations, and even including SMEs, you know, small and medium uh enterprises you know we need technical assistance you know to work together you know to be able to empower these small organizations and to help these small businesses to grow and to be well defined to create job opportunity for the youth this could include comprehensive ta research resource guides you know which is ideally should be based on the net for low cost, for low cost, volunteering. Volunteering is another important step. You know, the youth should be ready to volunteer themselves to participate and to take part in, uh, into any uh, program that is uh, in the youth uh, empowerment uh, 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 sector. Resources are needed to improve and expand youth empowerment programs in the nation. Offering youth education and advocacy through presentation, training workshop, conference papers, publication, conveying their participation in related networks. Offering intensive training and coaching on program development, job and employment, skill accusation, business entrepreneurship, 
implementation at all level to empower the youth. Nigerian youth in the diaspora and their allies has issued a call to action. Politicians, politicians, policy makers, and national resource controllers should collaborate with the youth in organizational improvement and community development and changes. Youth development and youth action must be engaged with a lot of opportunities and benefit to derive. Youths need effective promotion of their well-being, interest, and involvement in decision-making. Nigeria as a nation has gained from working with the diaspora community. The road to national economic growth, which will give an exclusive look into employment challenges and opportunities facing Nigerian youth today, must consider youth empowerment as number one key factor and God-given opportunity to our national development goals. Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, who is our current president, once said that he knew that there are many eager and talented youth during his campaignary declaration that many youths in the country are talented and that his government will do everything what it takes to fish them out and to empower them to help them grow their ideas and their talent so that they can succeed. Conclusively, a strong message has been sent today by the way of the terms in the above framework calling for increased youth empowerment and youth action opportunities for national development in Nigeria. Thank you so much for your time. We believe in Nigeria. We believe in the bright future of our children. So help us God to place the youth in the front burner of our national development. Thank you all once again for your kind attention. May God bless Nigeria. Thank you.